Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Omniman86 and today I've got a video that I'm really excited about and it's all about custom book jackets for Omni. So I have a few custom dust jackets here. Uh, these were all designed by Roy21. If you are active over in the Omnibus Collectors subreddit or in a lot of places you might find Omnis, uh, you might have heard of 21Roy. Uh, you can go find him on there. 21Roy underscore is his username. Uh, give him a shout if you are looking to add any custom dust jackets to your collection. So these are different uh obviously dust jackets that I have here, and these have been printed by three different printers. And so I wanted to go through and explain a little bit about that process and also how you can get yours printed if you are looking to do that. So uh, before we go any further, make sure uh, you like the video if you like it. Uh, drop a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Do you have any custom dust jackets that you would like to share? And also if there's any content that you would like to see. Um, I'm pretty new to this game, and so I would love to hear what kind of things you all are interested in. All right, so let's jump in and get started. Um, you will see automatically that I have uh, an additional Omni in here uh, that I had at the beginning of the video. Literally, while I was making one, um, an additional dust jacket came in. So I decided to throw it in so we could have a, a good sample. So uh, let's talk about the three places that you will uh, find uh, that I use for the dust jackets. So these first two here on the right-hand side, these are both from Walgreens. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the process and how I got there, but I'll talk about the, the places first. Um, if you are not from the United States or not familiar, Walgreens, or it may be called Dwayne Reed, where you live, um, they are like a pharmacy, um, sell lots of supplies and stuff, but most of them also have a photo lab. And a lot of their photo labs will print uh, poster size prints, and uh, that's exactly what I've done uh, for these. And so I'll talk about the sizing on those here in a little bit as well. Uh, the next two that you see that actually stand up a little bit higher than the other two, those are from uh, Staples, which is an office supply uh, store here in the United States as well. And uh, they do lots of different types of printing and things like that. They also have a posters option. Um, some very uh, big differences between the materials here and that process. And then last but not least, for the three um, that make up the Infinity Saga here, um, these are from the Houchin Bindery. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they are a professional printing and binding company you can use them for binding uh, custom omnis if you want to send off single issues or trades to be uh, bound but they also do custom book jackets as well um, and so these were done uh, by them and so we're gonna go through and talk a little bit about the process and the pricing for each of these and I'm gonna talk about which ones I actually like the best and what my recommendation would be if you are looking to do custom uh, book jackets for your omnis all right, so first up, we have these two. Uh, these were both printed at Walgreens. Uh, these are printed, uh, they were both printed on their 20 by 30 poster paper. Um, whenever you go onto their website, if you're if you're doing an order on there, um, you'll see they have posters as an option and they have multiple different sizes. If you're doing a single omnibus, 20 by 30 is gonna be the size you're gonna need to go with. You'll have to cut it out, um, but that will be the size for the single. Uh, some locations do have 24 by 36 as well. If you wanted to do that, you should be able to put two omni side by side. Um, I will say that whenever you do this for places like Walgreens or Staples or someplace like that, you're probably going to need to use another piece of software to actually create the file with the uh, dust jackets on them. You're going to have a file from somewhere, whether you get it from 21Roy or make it yourself or do it from uh, somewhere else, but you'll need to put them on something that matches the size for what you're going to be getting printed. And so I used um, a piece of software and created a you know 20 by 30 inch uh, canvas, popped the dust jacket on there, saved it, and then uploaded that to Walgreens for printing. And so one thing that you'll notice, um, and we'll do a comparison here in just a moment, but their paper that they use, it has a little bit more of a matte finish than the other uh, two printers that we're going to talk about. Uh, they do call it matte on their site. It's not quite um, a total matte. I think obviously there's still a little bit of a shine to it. You can see some reflection from lights and things like that there. So it's it's really not too bad. I was worried it was going to stick out more than it does. Um, you can notice a couple of things that are different between it uh, with 
the other ones, but it is not quite as bad as what I was thinking. So you can see I've got Shadowland and I have Marvel Knights here. So these are the dust jackets that I went with uh, from 21 Roy. You can see if you have these Omnis, you can compare. They are slightly different than the ones that you might have on your shelf. Um, another thing you might notice here is the cut of them. Uh, we have the Shadowland here, which is pretty close. Um, so again, I had to cut both of these out by myself. Uh, this was the first one that I cut out. And so I'm going to show a couple of mistakes that I made so that you cannot make them. And uh, I cut this one out today. Uh, this one is pretty close. You can see just like a little bit of the spine sticking up over the dust jacket there, but it is super, super close. Um, you know, if I was to, to print another one at Walgreens, maybe I would scale it up just a little bit. I mean, I'm talking just like a fraction of an inch just to, to give me a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to cutting it out. But otherwise, the sizing worked out great. This one, I think my, my problem with this one is when I went to go cut it out, I was not quite as careful, um, and I used a couple of different materials for this one, and so I think I cut too much off because it is so close. If you cut even a sixteenth of an inch off too much, which doesn't sound like a lot, then you are going to have some issues um, like that where you can see that my um, you know omnibus is sticking up out of the dust jacket at this point. So... That is one thing to look at. If you are getting printed from a lot of these places, you may have to do the cutting yourself. Um, so make sure you're ready. For these, I used just a straight edge from a plastic ruler and then got a razor blade uh, to cut out this one. This one I had used scissors with, and so again, it did not come out as well as I would have liked for it to. So uh, live and learn. Luckily, they did not cost me that much. And so that uh, begins to enter our first section talking about price. So whenever you order these from Walgreens, the size for these, the 20 by 30, um, here in my area runs about $24. But I will say, if you ever get anything printed from Walgreens, do not pay full price if you're doing something in the photo lab. You can almost always find a coupon for something. For example, I printed this one last week. There was a 40% coupon and I used that. This week, there was a 60% off coupon and I used it for this one. So we're talking 10 bucks, 12 bucks for one of these as compared to, like I said, the $24 that it may have cost if you're paying full price for it. Um, and we'll do a, a full cost breakdown uh, once we've talked about all three printers. But again, do not pay full price if you are using Walgreens because you want to make sure that uh, you can use those coupons. If you can't find any coupons for them, just wait a week and chances are they will have one the following week and you'll be able to get them printed there. Um, other than that, um, it's pretty nice paper. It's, it's, it's fairly thick. It's thicker than what you would find on a typical omnibus and what we found from the Halchen printer. Um, this is this kind of the second thickness I found out of all three of them. Um, you know, this one is not laminated or anything, so it may be susceptible to, you know, damage if something hits it or scrapes against it. So that'll be something I'll have to kind of check in and see how does it do over time? How does the wear and tear work? And so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way that these turned out, especially for the price. If I can crank out a cover for an omnibus and it only costs me 10 bucks and I can go pick it up the same day or the next day that I send it in, that's that's a win. Um, you know, artwork looks great. All the colors looks really great. I compared it to some other ones that I had and I was very happy with that. The biggest thing is obviously this red here. I wanna make sure that matches because if it's sitting on the shelf, I don't want it to look faded or look uh, messed up or anything there. Um, everything on the back looks great. The only thing that you might notice is that if you are going to get super close and start to read some of this, you know, lettering here, you're, it's not going to be quite as crisp as if you have it done professionally. Um, so, you know, I'm sure a Walgreens service probably compresses some of the files because they're transmitting it and they don't handle very large files very well. So I'm sure there's some compression that goes on that makes it a little fuzzy. It's not bad. And honestly, unless you're getting right up on it, you can't even notice it that much. Like, honestly, I probably couldn't even really show it to you on camera because it would be hard to kind of focus on it. But it's it's totally acceptable for me, especially when it's sitting on the shelf. I'm never going to see the difference between something like this and whether I had gotten it print, printed at somewhere like Halchen. So not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, a couple things to look out for. Maybe go slightly larger. 
with the size. And again, I'm talking about a fraction of a percent, just very, very, very um, minor changes to the size there just to make sure that it does uh, line up right. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy with Walgreens. I will probably continue to use them for some other things, depending on how visible it is, how important the book is to me, and uh, what kind of a set it belongs to. But so far, very happy, especially after I got this one in today. I was very happy with how it came out. So next up, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Staples. All right, next up is Staples. Um, again, if you live here in the United States, you've probably seen Staples, um, very similar to places like Office Max or Office Depot. Uh, they have a lot of the same kind of services, so you could probably experiment with them as well. Um, but this was one I was really hoping for a lot better with this one. And, I, and I'll explain why I say that here in a little bit. Um, a couple things about the quality itself. Um, you'll see they look very good. They have a very nice shine on them. There are lots of options when it comes to getting these printed at Staples. Um, these are laminated. You have a lamination option. You have an option on the thickness of the paper that they use. Um, there are lots of different things you can choose from and customize when you go through. Um, so your results may vary. You may want to you know, play around with it and try it out um, and try different um, options when you go through and do that. I will tell you that I, I tried once. Um, I chose, you know, kind of the premium options that I thought might be looking good for a, an omnibus dust jacket, um, especially when compared to things like Houchin or the originals even. And they, they came out okay. Um, I think I would be more excited about them if I could have gotten some kind of a deal on these. Um, so these both together, I got the, both these printed at the same time on one sheet. Um, so I went with the larger 24 by 36. And so I was able to get both of them printed on one sheet, but it ended up being very expensive. That one sheet was about $45. And how, uh, sorry, uh, Staples did not offer any discounts until you hit $50, which I did not. And there wasn't really any other options I could customize to get it to that 50 bucks to save $10, which didn't really seem like it. So with Staples, you're probably going to be looking anywhere from 20 to $25 per dust jacket. Um, so just as a heads up there, it is one of the more expensive options, depending on how many you're getting printed and what you were looking for. Like I said, you may be able to play around some of the settings on their site, maybe change a couple of things if you don't like the way they came out. But for me, not having a really great discount to use on them like I did for Walgreens and not having that much of a problem with the, how the Walgreens versions came out, I said, you know what, I'm not going to get any more printed there. These are okay, but as you saw earlier, there are some issues with them that I want to be able to fix at some point in the future, and I will probably just have them get printed uh, by Walgreens. So the first thing that we um, can look at is the size of them. Um, you know, we talked about this earlier. And so here's one that I had done from Walgreens. And you can see there is a significant difference between the height of these. I use the exact same process for making the sheets for these as I did for the ones from Walgreens. Had no issues with the Walgreens ones other than what I talked about earlier. But these are just a lot larger. These are This is probably an eighth of an inch higher than it needs to be. Um, on these. And even if I went and I trimmed across the top and the bottom, this still would not line up and it's going to drive me nuts. So at some point, these are going to get reprinted. I'm probably going to finish out my Daredevil line first, um, getting those all printed before I go back and do these just because they were expensive. Um, but I just wasn't super happy with them. The second thing that, that I noticed that I'm not super jazzed about is the fact that if you look at the reds between these, and you might be able to see it on camera, I think I can see it here, um, is that it looks a little more muted. The red is a slightly more muted on than compared to this one. You can see a difference in the colors between the Daredevil here and here. And I think it's probably because of like the gloss and the um, lamination that's done on it is my my guess. Um, but I just found uh, these colors to be saturated a little bit better than these. And so I just wasn't impressed that much with the, the quality on the dust jackets there. Again, if they were by themselves and I had nothing to compare them to, I'd probably be totally happy with them. But since they do sit on a shelf with lots of other options or lots of other um, Omnis, I wanted to make sure they look very nice together. Um, the other thing about this with the thickness that I chose, they are very thick. These are the thickest uh, paper for all of them. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there, there's like a, a squeak to it uh, as I you know run my hands over it. Um, so there's definitely um, not really a texture, but there is some, some kind of friction to it. Um, so it's not as smooth as a lot of the other ones. Like this is a pretty smooth paper. There's a little bit here, um, but a lot more here. Um, and so where it kind of makes this plasticky sound as you're going over top of it. So 
again, I was not as excited about these um, as I was the Walgreens one. So if you are looking for a place, I do probably recommend to go with the Walgreens um, over Staples. All right, last but not least, we have the uh, custom dust jackets from the Houchin Bindery. Again, if you're not familiar with Houchin, they are a professional company. They do all kinds of bindings for different books, comic books, graphic novels, regular books. <laughs> I mean, anything you can think of, they do it and have services available for all of that. And one of the services that they have, which is really great, is this custom dust jacket service. And so in terms of quality, I mean, this is honestly going to be the, the Cadillac, the Rolls Royce of these covers. If you were looking for the best quality with the least amount of fuss, this is going to be the way to go. Um, when you order these, they are going to come to you shipped, uh, rolled up in a tube, but they are already cut to size. All you have to do is get them out, flatten them out a little bit, which does not take any time at all, and then get them wrapped around the Omnis. And I can make a whole separate video talking about the construction and how you, you put them together, um, but it's about the easiest you can get. You don't have to worry about cutting anything out yourself. Um, the material on them feels just like it came from the factory uh, when the Omni was originally printed. Again, this is about as close as you can get to it being the real deal. Um, it looks the same. It feels the same. Um, the biggest benefit here is that you can choose what you want on it um hence the infinity saga here with the matching covers that flow uh, from one to another so again this is the best route to go now the question is why would you not just use halogen for every single printing so there's really kind of two reasons. Uh, one is price. Um, so it is not actually the most expensive. Uh, Staples ended up being the most expensive. Another reason why I probably won't go with them again. But with them, um, you were looking at $19.75 American for each dust jacket that you have printed. So not too bad. But then it is $16.50 for your shipping, no matter how many covers you're getting. So if you were getting one dust jacket printed, that's going to end up costing you almost $37 for one dust jacket when you factor in the price of the printing and everything itself, plus the shipping. However, if you're getting four of them, then when you add that up, you are going to be um, to about $25. Um, so you are much, much uh, closer to kind of breaking even on that point compared to the other printers. So if you're looking for something that is quick and cheap, maybe you want to go with the Walgreens printing, uh, depending on what you're what you're getting done. But if you're looking for something that is extremely well done and the least amount of fuss, then you would want to go with somebody like Houchin. Now, the speed on these is not bad. Um, I think it was probably about seven business days from the time that I sent them in to the time I received them. The shipping was very fast. Um, so with these, all you do is you just upload the file to their site whenever you put your order in. They will reach out to you with inside of a couple of business days and ask for a prepayment. They will not print these dust jackets without you prepaying for your order. Um, I imagine they've probably got a bunch of uh, dust jackets sitting around that people just ended up not paying for. So they do ask for a prepayment on there and they will walk you through that and you can give them a call and you know give them your card number or whatever. So uh, that, that'll happen, then they'll print. Once that phone call happened and then they were off to the printers, everything went very quick. Um, and then once they shipped, again, the shipping was very fast, came through UPS as well in a nice sturdy tube. So I was not worried about them getting damaged. So honestly, really great experience with them. Again, if I was going to use them, and I'm, I'm sure I probably will, I'm going to wait until I have at least probably four to get printed just to bring that cost per cover down just because it really doesn't make enough sense to just get one or two printed. I did three with this one. Um, I probably should have just went ahead and did a fourth one, but I didn't. So lesson learned, but for in the future, I will know not to do that. Um, and that brings me to my last thing that I want to talk about with the three of these. The other biggest benefit to Houchin is the fact that you send the files and you don't have to worry about them actually getting printed. When I uh, started using Walgreens and Staples, I had one order printed at each of them with no issues, went and picked them up, nobody said anything. Then I went back um, to them again to try to get something printed, and each um, of them, the Walgreens and the Staples, uh, denied service because they said I did not have a copyright release for them, and they would not print copyrighted material. Um, I did mention to them that I had it done before, but they said that it must have been a mistake and they weren't going to do it again. So, warning to you, if you are going to use a local printer, 
whether it's Walgreens, whether it's uh, Staples, whether it's an independent printer. Um, I also reached out to one of them and tried to get something printed and they wouldn't even uh, print it once. They, they said, no, we're not going to we're not going to do it. So if you are doing that, you might have to shop around a little bit. For Walgreens, uh, luckily there are plenty of locations around where I live, so I just sent it off to another Walgreens. They printed it. They didn't say anything to me when I picked it up, so I will probably try them again until they start to come back and say that there is some kind of an issue there. So I'm going to assume that I can keep going with them, but it is something to be aware of. You might send it off, and you might have somebody, depending on the facility that's doing it, they might come back to you and say, hey, this looks like copyrighted material, so we can't print it, um, and in that case, you might just have to go look for somewhere else. So um, heads up if you are going to be doing this yourself. So that's a recap of the three printers that I've used for these custom jobs. Um, as a recap, really quickly around uh, pricing, Walgreens, if you're getting them printed individually, uh, you are looking at anywhere from uh, probably $10 to $14, depending on which coupon you have. Again, don't pay full price. There's plenty of coupons out there, uh, so make sure you use one of those. Um, so really great pricing uh, and very quick turnaround. Again, you can pick these up uh, typically same day or the next day, depending on when you are placing your order. Uh, for staples, uh, for these, again, this was about $45 for the two of them. So if you are looking at that individually, we're at about $21 to $22 for just a single one. Um, if you're looking at it per cover, um, obviously, if you do just want to get one uh, printed exactly with these options, you're probably going to be looking at about $35 from what I saw if you wanted to just go down a size and just have one printed. So again, pretty pricey when it comes to the Omnis there. Um, again, I did not see many coupons, at least none that were applicable for this. You had to spend a lot more for these kind of jobs um, in order to save any money. And then when you did save money, you would only save about 10 bucks. So if you were, you know, had a $50 job, you could save $10, but that also meant it was true if you had a uh, $70 job, you would still only save $10. So maybe they have some better coupons. Um, I just don't see them very often. And so I would not say that it's worth it for these um, unless it's just, you know, the only place around and you don't have any other options. Um, but I would just be very careful with the sizing and take a look at it after you get it back. And then obviously the, the best option in terms of quality um, is going to be from Houchin here. Um, again, you are looking um, a maximum of about $37 for a cover if you're having just one done, which is pretty expensive. But again, the more you add, the more economical it's going to become because you always only pay a flat rate for shipping no matter how many you have. So if you are going to get some done, it would make more sense to kind of save up and do that. And you can get the price down to about $20 per cover, um, even less than that if, if you're going to be doing, you know, seven or eight of them. So uh, just something to think about as you go through and kind of price those out. Um, but thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I'd love to answer any of them for you. If you're interested in any videos about what the cutting process looks like and the wrapping process, um, that was new for me and I learned along the way. So I could be um, more than happy to answer any questions that you have about that. And then uh, show off your collection. If you have any custom uh, printings that you have done that you really like, um, you know, drop a, drop a comment. Let us know where you got it printed and where you got it from. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit a like, comment, do all that fancy stuff that uh, feeds the YouTube algorithm gods. And uh, hopefully I will see you back at the next video. Thanks.